subscribe to the eighth the eighth round. Go ahead and subscribe to my man Brock Hoffman's channel. Uh, you know, I listened to the whole thing uh today between him and Tyler Smith. It's a pretty pleasant show, but there was a snippet from it that you know I thought was very, very beneficial to what we're gonna talk about today. So we're gonna okay. play that right now and, and we're gonna talk about it. And Wonderful. you know, I want to go ahead and preface this with you know, I know you're willing to do whatever it, it takes for us to win a championship, right? Whether that's tackle or guard, but I mean, you can kind of just hit on, like, I know we've talked about it a lot, you know, privately, um, you know, what do you honestly feel more comfortable with? Guys, you know, and I'll, you know, I'll say this guys, I'm coming off an extremely good year at guard. You know, I've had, you know, over this past year. And like, only going to get better and only going to get better. Get yep. Highest of, hey, come on, highest, best in the land. Come on. <laughs> top of the top. Top of the top. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm coming off a really good year at guard. You know, I'm feeling really comfortable at guard. I kind of like, you know, how the continuity is right now. Like mm -hmm. you said, I already prefaced this. I'm willing to do whatever it takes, y'all. And I'm able to do whatever it takes. Yep, 100%. And so, you know, we'll see what the future holds. You know, obviously, stay ready for anything. But for right now, I'm a starting left guard at Dallas Cowboys, y'all. Damn Ooh. What you think, bro? What you uh, I love think, it. bro? I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I actually am really high on Tyler Smith. I think that he now knows what he needs to do. And um not saying he didn't before, but I think that now that um Tyron Smith is gone, he can focus on his craft and he doesn't have to really worry about have to keep moving around once he's solidifying that spot that's it man that boy is gonna be an all pro yeah i i thought that it was pretty interesting i mean you hear duke manyweather say these things all the time and this is what i want to say about duke manyweather because i do think that he has a wealth of knowledge but duke and and a high school coach once told me this once before right when you're a trainer you know what i'm saying like people are paying you to train them mm -hmm. so so the so for the people that that really matter like coaches like in, in the football operations aspect coaches gms scouts all that stuff yeah they're not really looking for the opinion as much from 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 trainers because technically you're a paid service now i know at the high school level when when, when college coaches are coming down they're not really listening to trainers they listen to the high school coaches. They listen to the teachers, people that aren't really that that aren't employed by the people. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but that's beside the point. Duke was saying that he's a guard. I believe he's a guard, so I'm agreeing with Duke here. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to move him from guard, but what I will say is, for me, there's a com there's a level of comfort of seeing him play left tackle, knowing that he can do it at a high level. That if we don't get the tackle that we want, there's some comfort in knowing that we don't have to force it. But hearing him say that, you know what I'm saying, right now he's the guard, you know, that, that means that he's embraced that role. So yeah. I think that they're going to try and they're going to try their very, very best to, to try and get a tackle there. That's what I think that that means. Then again, though, players don't make these decisions. They don't. Coaches coaches make these decisions and the front office makes these decisions. And this is what I'm going to say about why I think he's going to be a guard and why I think the pick is going to be tackled. <clears throat> because Tyler's already played two years. So they can always get the fifth-year option, right? They can always yep. get his fifth-year option. What's more, what's more expensive for him to play if he ends up panning out, tackle or guard? Tackle. Exactly. So they'll have three years of him at guard. Now, if they get a tackle in the first round, how many years on a rookie contract do we have a tackle? If it's the first round, they they, they got five years if they get that fifth year option. Bingo. So that's why I think that that's why I think that they're they're gonna probably try and get a left tackle. And it's funny because you know they try and hide these things, but we're so smart. Like people are so smart that they kind of figure these things out. But another position that you know i always feel like you need to get premium positions at in the first round anyway which is which is definitely you know, tackles tackles quarterbacks uh, but you know sometimes you can get a running back too because think about it that that after that five years 
once they're about 28 years old, you're looking at another one anyway. But you can get a running back, you can get a corner and an edge. You know, but let's saying? be honest. But let's be honest. We all know that it's easier to find an interior offensive lineman than it is a tackle. Anything guard, center, you know what I mean? Like so typically, typically, I would agree with you typically, typically for typically. everybody else, but Dallas, for some odd reason, they good at they good they, at finding they know how to get some damn lineman. tackles. Yeah, yeah, yeah they I, know how to get I some damn tackles. That. Yeah, interior, like we still looking for a center. No, I mean, well, no, I'm not gonna dog Brock Hoffman, and I hope that Brock Hoffman watches this. And you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can collab one day. You know what I'm saying? I think that Brock, I would like to see Brock and a rookie fight it out. But that's the most that's I ever heard him talk. Yeah, and it was actually a pretty good podcast, bro. It was a really good podcast. If, if, if I, I'm going to try and find it and put the link in the description. I'll put the link in the description. You guys, everybody who watches this, definitely go subscribe to eight, the eighth round. And you know what I'm saying? Look, these players out here are doing it. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to these podcasts, you know, ain't nobody going to say Brock Hoffman shouldn't have no podcast. Right, right. They're not going. Yeah, but see, look, it look. He say one thing. Mike McCarthy say one thing. Jerry say one thing. Both but of yeah, them. Say, we don't know. We really exactly. don't exactly. Well, I mean, obviously it's GM line season, so it, it's up for us to 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 put the pieces in the puzzle together. Like it just makes a lot of sense to keep him at guard, money wise, for the long term. And you know they cheap as hell, cheap bastards. I, re- I really feel <laughs> cheap like rich bastards. Right, right. The, the cheap. <laughs>